Good evening, Wizzy Boys, and welcome back to my channel. It's quite early. I honestly don't want to make a video right now. But, of course, as usual, I woke up to Monster High leaks because, lo and behold, Laguna has been found. Finally, you guys can shut up about her. So with that, let's get right into it. So if you all remember, this is the first leak that we got of Laguna's pink skin. It was confirmed by a, um... Uh, Instagram user? I was gonna say Reddit for some reason, but it wasn't Reddit. Uh, somebody on Instagram confirmed that Laguna was going to be pink, and nobody believed it. And then this leaked, and everyone collectively lost their shit. So obviously Laguna has changed the most of any of the other characters. Um, she's no longer Australian, for instance. Laguna is now of Latina descent, and, you know, as somebody who's Hispanic slash Latina myself, I'm happy about that. I like it. Um, I know a lot of people are pissed off about her not being Australian anymore, and I'm sure they'll introduce, like, maybe another Australian character in Laguna's place. I mean, I'm not sure of it, but I feel like there's a chance. I don't know. Laguna has a Latina voice actress, though. You know, she's also in Genshin Impact. Valeria Rodriguez. Sorry I'm saying it in the whitest way imaginable, I'm just... Can't be bothered with pronunciation right now. But, um... Yeah, she voices Sucrose in Genshin. So, that's fun. Anyway. And then we got this picture of Laguna's doll, and this was all we had for... Quite some time, Laguna took the longest out of the main ghouls to leak. God, I'm so sad looking at Claudine's face here. Mm, why couldn't her final doll look like that? Anyway, here's the doll. Yay, it's Laguna, guys! Look at her! It's Laguna! Isn't isn't that what you wanted? Is, isn't this what you wanted? <laughs> it's Laguna! We got Neptuna. She didn't eat Neptuna, guys. Neptuna is, is still kicking. She's got a bathing suit. She's got... What the hell is that? A bag of chips? She's got a, a... Something. She's got something. She's got a water bottle, a hydro flask, because she's a visco girl. She's got sunglasses. They all get sunglasses. Yay! Okay. I'll calm down now. <coughs> she looks nice, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I do think her shoes look kind of dumb. <laughs> the way they say monster across the, like, strap over her foot looks really stupid. <laughs> but, like, in a corny way. It's like a cheesy, corny way, you know? Like, a good kind of stupid. Uh, the ombre into blue on her legs, it's not the same as it was here. Here, her legs became, like, a clear blue, and here they're a bit of a foggier blue. Another big difference is in the face. Not so much the screening, because the screening looks exactly the same. It's just, um, here she doesn't have blue shit on her forehead, and here she does. I've gotta say, I don't mind it as much as I did when I first saw the picture. Like, on one hand, yes, I would like to wipe it off and have her look more like her prototype, but on the other hand, I don't think it looks horrible. Okay, we could always see her shoes look kind of dumb from here. So, this picture was found on, um... Well, this is the picture everybody keeps sharing... But this is an Instagram story that claims they found it on Facebook, but the post that I keep seeing is somebody reposting this exact screenshot, which means somebody on Facebook posted it, then somebody on Instagram saved it and posted it with that little block of text over it, and then somebody posted that again on, on Facebook, so... No idea who the original poster is. Hopefully we'll get to see some out-of-box photos of Laguna soon. But for now, this is all we got. And I have to say, I think Laguna is my favorite reboot doll so far. Originally, it was Draculaura, but I really, really prefer Laguna. It's just that her face gives me the most G1 energy. Hold on. God, I almost sneezed. <laughs> I didn't just think about sneezing. When I said hold on, that, like, canceled my sneeze for some reason. Anyway, Laguna... She's got a shell-shaped backpack with, like, a drippy texture at the bottom. Maybe it's supposed to look like she just pulled it out of the water and it's dripping wet. I don't know. Her hair seems to be of much higher quality than we thought Toralize to be. 
Because Torelai looks like she has poly hair as well as Claudine. I still think it's homophobic of Mattel to do that to me. I am... I am personally offended by both of my favorite characters <laughs> having poly hair. But Laguna seems to have Saran. Or Nylon, whichever one they want to use. People have asked me what Cleo's hair feels like, and to me it feels like either Nylon or Saran. Because... I have a doll that was rerooted in nylon, and because the hair was, like, new, I guess, it feels the way nylon does. You know, like, with that kind of, like, I don't want to say sticky, but that's the only way I can think to describe it. No idea what hair type Laguna's going to have. We won't know until whoever found her unboxes her. Please let them unbox her in a timely manner. We still don't have any out-of-box photos of Torelai. We have more photos than this. I've just been waiting to cover some out-of-box photos so we can see her head not be shaped like an Equestria girl. But, you know, there haven't there haven't been any because OP just posted some inbox photos, like close-ups, and that was it. <sighs> ah, I'm doing great. So, uh, Laguna looks really nice. She's got a necklace and earrings and hair clips. She looks like she's even got, like, a scrunchie in her hair. Good for her. She's got new leg fins that face downward because that just makes more sense. Fun fact, Laguna's fins made no sense on the original dolls because, you know, when you swim, you don't want your fins facing the opposite direction that you're going unless Laguna swims backwards or something. Do you guys think Laguna swims backwards? So comment your head cannons below. But this Laguna has her fins facing downward, which would make it much easier for her to swim. From the looks of it, she does not have webbed fingers anymore. All the dolls have the same hand positioning from the looks of it. Um, all the ones other than Torlai and Claudine, though, they both have the same clawed hands. She's got blue nails here, but they didn't paint them on the doll. <laughs> <coughs> Aren't you guys happy to see that Neptuna is still alive? I am. Laguna's bathing suit here really reminds me of this one reboot set that Laguna got with her ugly-ass sister. You know, the ugly-ass sister that they only introduced, like, towards the end of Monster High. What the hell was her name? Kelpie? Yeah, it looks like Kelpie. Kelpie bathing suit. Let me find a picture. Please tell me y'all see it too. Like, Laguna's bathing suit is a two-piece here, and it's a one-piece here, but the colors, I feel like, look very similar. Mm. I don't know. That That's just what I think. Overall, I think I like Laguna the most from the G3 basics that we've seen so far. Originally, I was a bigger fan of Draculaura and Cleo, and I still really like Cleo. I'm looking at mine right now. And she is very pretty. She's very cute. But I do think I like Laguna the most. She the she resembles her prototype from this box the most closely. It feels like little was changed. Like, obviously the colors look different because this is a box that somebody took, like, pictures of. And this is a real doll that somebody took pictures of, so... She looks a bit more saturated here than she does here. This was a much lighter pink, and this is a bit of a darker one. But it's so minor that I don't even mind. Overall, Laguna looks the most like her original box prototype, and I like her more. Frankie definitely changed a bit from uh, their picture here. Frankie looks more like a mint color rather than the more bluish tone that they ended up being. And Claudine... Just completely lost the side glance. I was so excited for that. And then they just didn't do it on her final doll. It still pisses me off so much. And this hair does not look like Polly. Claudine does not look like she has Polly here. But overall, I think Laguna ended up turning out the best. And good for her. I've never been that big of a Laguna fan. Like, I think she was my least favorite of the main ghouls. Just because, like... She never had anything interesting going on, in my opinion. I just never <laughs> liked G1 Laguna that much. I still have a bunch of G1 Laguna dolls that I absolutely adore, such as Escape from Skull Shores. Um, 
the the, the fucking Dawn of the Dance. Laguna got a lot of nice dolls, but I feel like in G3, I might end up liking Laguna more. As a doll, at least. I don't like the animation style. Thank you all for watching this video. I, of course, will make a follow-up if that person who found her does decide to post out-of-box photos. Hopefully they do. I would really like if they did, because, you know, the Toruai poster still hasn't done that. And I've been meaning to cover the inbox pictures, but it feels like more of the same, so I'm waiting on out-of-box photos. But if we don't get anything, I'll just make a video later today. I just be making these videos left and right. It's fun. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'm gonna go do some math homework. Bye!